Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and we ask one question on this channel, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? Now, a lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better, but I'm not so sure. And today we're going to hit up a poll winner, Death Grips. A lot of you guys have been asking me to hit this up. And in fact, I want to bring up your names. I had to put this on a little spreadsheet here to get it, but uh, here we go right here. Solomon Jack, Ben Hughes, Generator Clerpienia, if I said that correctly, and Bloda Osten. Thank you all for recommending Death Grips. And uh, I've done a deep dive into the lyrics. And we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and hit up the official video of a song called Guillotine. So like I say, I've checked these lyrics out and we will do a, uh, a uh, a deep dive into the lyrics when this is done but let me go ahead and um, yeah let me go ahead sorry about this live so and sorry for the delay I've been doing a little theater here in town let me make sure that I've got this uh, unmuted sometimes I forget to unmute the song uh, let's see here do I have the up oh, now I've got this on mute okay it's live folks so here we go and uh, got this here thanks for bearing with me so let's go ahead and hit this up guillotine from ex-military it's uh i think their first release and this is the official video here we go <laughs> To make the bottom fall to the floor, and they all fall down. It goes, it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes. Okay. Out of the shadows, barrage of witch tongue, cobra spit over apocalyptic cult, killer cauldron, smoke, stop music. music. Seriously. Mm. It goes, it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes, it Can't goes. Can't stop this groove, looks dark, clear off them locks, relentless raw movement for the knock. Give me to that deep spot, body rock, connect it. To everything you want, ever did want, we got it, why not come get us to get in that hole and watch me drop this cold guillotine to sentence The Sonics are so interesting It goes, 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 guillotine Hidden all between and beneath every fragmented figure of speech Tongue to reverse whenever the beat causes my jaws to call Reach. The screen slashes red, can't see shit but heads Spinning actions just like planets, out of orbit off the edge Of my actions ripping the doors to formal and all that's ever been said Tie the cord, kick the chair when you're dead It goes, 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 in a bucket, body of a trick in a bag, and thrown in the fire like fuck it, gotta burn it before it goes bad, but too many times been disgusted by the stench and of the drag, get broke by the street like blood stained glass. So I wasn't going to stop this, but there's so much to say already, so there's all that clanging, almost industrial sonics in this, and then the way the video and the music go together, the way it slows down and speeds up, and wow, and he's really a... Uh, He's, he's uh, really angry, I would say, right? Uh, but that's cool. And then there's just the music builds and it punches and it builds and it punches. So this is, uh, you know, I didn't have any expectations. I was just going into this cold. And it's really, really interesting. I'm enjoying this. So let's keep going on this. And these uh, guys are from Sacramento, California. On these nuts to the very last yeah. It goes, it goes, it goes, it goes Serial number, wow. killing machine The hell is the maze Do an ambient on the filthy sound you're experiencing yeah. 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 It goes, 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 it goes Bam! 
windows full of proof The slip not fixing rope to noose to the grave No wonder of cold steel The passion of blinds me so I feel you yeah. They go to a flow through our veins Blows through our tunnels and rattles our chains And they all fall down yeah. 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 This is different than anything I've ever heard. I'm not even sure what all these instruments are. Sounds like some loops, maybe. Wow. Very cool. So we'll bring up the lyrics to this, but I love rap music with uh, that does a sonic bed instead of beats. I mean, beats are fine. I enjoy beats, but let's go ahead and uh, pull up these lyrics. I've brought up Genius. I want to, because uh, there's some annotation on here. So we'll see if there's anything that uh, that has to say that, I mean, I can't really imagine what, what annotation would be here, but it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes, guillotine, yeah. So let's see here what it says for... Um, and let me move myself down here a little bit. So it says, um, oh, sorry about this. Yeah, the guillotine. So I know there's lots of um, references to capital punishment. Uh, the guillotine hanging by a noose and those different things. Yeah, okay, so they're just talking about the history of the gu guillotine. Uh, sit in the dark and ponder how I'm fit to make the bottom fall through the floor and they all fall down, yeah. Ride starts the song, Ride being one of the members of the band, starts the song off with moral contemplation. He's sitting in the dark, pondering how he's fit to make the moral choice of killing other people. Okay, I had not quite gotten that. And they all fall down seems like it can only refer to people dying after the bottom falls through the floor clip falling out of his gun. Okay, so it's a little more violent than I thought. Thought it was more more suicidal than homicidal. The guillotines, okay, we more history on the uh, guillotine. Out of the shadows, barrage of witch tongue, cobra spit over ap apocalyptic cult killer, cauldron smoke, stomp music, seriously, yeah, it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes. The apop apop apocalyptic cult killer is Zach Hill, his drummer, whose cauldron smoke beats from the background. A cauldron is usually a hot boiling pot with a collection of items, so it's a cool metaphor for a beat. So it makes you think of Macbeth and things like that. The barrage of witch tongue cobra spit combines the ideas of magic and poison to characterize the lyrics or how he spits. The witch reference also connects to the cauldron mentioned, creating the image that he is the witch, putting the magical oddities of his lyrics into the cauldron that is Hill's beats to create his tracks. Okay, I get it. So, uh, yeah, again, I talk about Macbeth, the um, uh, witches and toils and all that, the stir that up so they're saying that uh, making the music is like a witch's potion can't stop the groove licks jaws clear off them locks relentless raw movement uh, right is saying the beat to the song makes you move relentless raw movement the beat or groove can also cause you or others to get your jaw broken or licked off hmm let me read that again uh not sure where they got the annotation to that. I'm not sure if that's accurate. Fit to knock you from here to that G spot. Body rock connected to everything you want, ever did want. We got it. Why not come get it? Stick your head in that hole and watch me drop this cold guillotine death sentence. 
He's saying that his music is the connection to all you want and have wanted, so come indulge it and forget what doesn't matter. He then goes back to the metaphor of his music being, being a guillotine and relates submitting to his music to sub and relates submitting to his music to submitting to death. But in his song, he relates death to enlightenment. Also, death sentences a neat double entendre. Capital punishment or the potency of rides. Oh, okay, sentence. I got it. So sentence is is what the judge delivers for your crime, but it's also a uh, piece of English, piece of rhyme. Okay, got it. Death sentence. That is a nice double entendre. It goes, it goes, it goes. So we saw that. We did an annotation on that, a deep dive into that already. Hidden art between and beneath every fragmented figure of speech. Yeah, I think that's pretty clear. Uh, tongue in reverse whenever the beat causes my jaws to call out, 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 out. Yeah, the screen's flashing red. Can't see shit but heads spinning exorcist-like planets out of orbit off the edge. Uh, yeah, continuing the previous point, the screen's flashing red. This reference, this references the dark and mysterious styles the Death Grips employs at their concerts. The group often utilizes red flashing strobe lights and other various side effects to add on to the abrasive nature and energy of their music. At one point, let's see here, last night's, okay, just going into more detail on that. The Exorcist line is reference to the movie with Linda Blair's head spinning about. Off mine axis, whipping through doors to far more than all that's ever been said. Tie the cord, kick the chair. So that's obviously a reference to hanging oneself. Let's see what it says. Uh, uh, he's also talking about writing music. A tie is when two of the same notes are strung together to make the pitch carry on longer. A chord is a group of notes, and a kick could be a percussion kick. Okay. And then we've got that repeat of the chorus. Head of a trick in a bucket, body of a trick in a bag, and thrown in the fire like fuck it, gotta burn it before it goes bad. Let's see what they say about this trick. Could be a prostitute's customer who has also been killed and burnt to hide the dead body before it decomposes. Hmm, not sure how they got that from that line, but um, body of a trick in a bag. Thrown, okay, well, sometimes I don't know about genius, but uh, one too many times been disgusted by the stench of rot is such a drag. Here, Wright justifies the act of burning the body of his victim by saying that he hates the smell of rotting corpses. This is another example of Wright's twisted psyche in this song, and he is not disgusted by the act of smell of killing someone, but is more disgusted by the smell of dead corpses that rots. Ugh. Okay. Get broke by the street like blood-stained glass. Yeah, choke on these nuts to the very last. Yeah, let's see what it says here. Ride describes how he was broken by living on the street. Okay. Get broke by the street. Choke on these nuts. MC Ride predicts the rise of the Sugandese tribe. I'd have to do a dive into that. Serial number killing machine, the illest of means to an end built on the filthy sound you're experiencing. Illest means to an end built on this filthy sound. MC Ride does horrible things, but it culminates into this great music. Serial number killing machine could also be a play on serial killer. Or could refer to a gun, which is how I took it. Filthy sound is reference to their instrumental. Okay. And then the repeat of the chorus. Tinted windows, bulletproof, the slipknot, fixing rope to noose, to the gravestone grinder of cold steel. The passion that blinds me so I feel, yeah, can't let go, no, it flows through our veins, blows through our tunnels and rattles our chains and they all fall down. Uh, Ride characterizes an all-consuming passion for violence and asserts that it is a basic element of human nature. Okay. 
Every animal has the ability to kill and humans are no exception. Additionally, these lines are comparable to Plato's allegory of the cave, wherein individuals born chained to a wall are unaware of the true nature of the world that surrounds them. Um, I'm familiar with the allegory of the cave, but I don't know how they're getting that from this line. We are chained to what we perceive as our reality. Okay but our passions can change our perspectives. Ride's passion removes one of his sensory inputs and lets him feel something beyond what we think of as real. Channeled through the music of death grips, it makes you go wild, removes you from the distraction of real life, and gives you a taste of what is outside the cave all humans may be in. Again, not sure where they're pulling Plato out of this line and then they end with a bunch of yes. So, all right, cool. So, yeah, he sounds pretty pissed off. Uh, I like that video, though. It was simple. Him riding in the car and ranting. Uh, I love the sonics on this. I love the almost trash can effect or the banging of, I don't know, sheet metals or sheet metal or garbage cans or anvils I'm not sure what, what it was but just all this clang and clutter that really gives an emotional uh, background to the lyrics so I like this quite a bit um, thanks for recommending this to me uh, very different than I thought it would be and uh, I'm gonna give it an A I liked it quite a bit um, yeah, so some real homicidal imagery here, uh, but that's fair. I like that, and um, I think we all feel that way from time to time, um, you know, on any given day. So, yeah, it's just human nature. So he's uh, singing about it in music, which is great, and um, hopefully not acting it out. But, yeah, good stuff. Death Grip, Sacramento, California. Thank you, you four guys, for the recommendation. Uh, I think you're all guys. I think those are guys' names, but if not, I use guys generally. And uh, as we say, well, if you like what we're doing here, a senior reacting to the new music of the 21st century, do hit that like or subscribe button. It really helps. And as we say here in Mexico, buen dia.